Howdy. Welcome to the Rhinestone Roper Ranch. Today we're not going to be talking about how to spin guns. We're going to be talking about how to get your hands ready to spin guns. But first, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and uh, push that little bell there. I'd appreciate it. All right, what do we do with our hands? You know, I get a lot of questions. Have I got the right gun? How long should the barrel be? And I don't think my hands are big enough. Well, you can change the gun you've got if you need to. But you can't change your hands. Well, maybe you can a little bit. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And talking about your hands, you can't worry about whether your hands are too big. If you're complaining your hands are too big, I think you're just bragging. But maybe your hands are too small. Yeah, I don't think so either. The two-time world champion gun spinner is a woman. And she's not a big woman. She's kind of medium small. And her hands are not big ranch hands either. They're, they're just ordinary hands. But there are some ways to make your hands stronger and more flexible in a way that will help your gun spinning. That's what we're going to be talking about. Let's talk about stretching your hands first. Why would you stretch your hands? You stretch them to make them more flexible. The thing is, when you're spinning guns, you got most of your fingers straight and one finger bent to hold the, pi the pistol. You have to bend that finger and if you're really good, you can bend that knuckle right there. But you have to be able to keep this middle finger out of the way. Now with my left hand, I can keep this middle finger straight at the same time bend the first finger and I can bend that knuckle. And I don't have any problem keeping this finger out of the way. And that's the, that's the position I want that finger in. That'll hold the pistol most securely. But since I've injured this right finger, I can bring that first finger in, but I can't, I can't bend that knuckle without bending that one also. So I need to stretch it. Now you can bend your fingers back, and I do that to get flexible before shows. And as you'll see, it hurts a little bit right in here to do it. A little bit of pain I don't think is bad. And you can also feel it pulling right through here. But to really do the job, you need to bend that finger and also grab, grab this middle finger and bend that middle finger back while you're bringing that forefinger in. Now I can really feel that pulling right in here. But I think that's what you need to do. I can feel the pull in here. I feel the pull in here. Now if I get that position right there without holding on to that finger, that's pretty good for gun spinning. Do that stretch a couple times a day. Now that does hurt to do it. But when I do that, my hands are more flexible. I can get those fingers out of the way while I'm spinning my guns. The next is making that hand strong. It does come in handy to have strong hands when you're spinning guns. Now there's all kinds of exercise you can do with weights, curling them up for your forearms. It doesn't really require strong forearms. It's just in these fingers and your hands. One thing I suggest doing is getting a heavy rubber band or multiple bands and stretching your fingers out. You can do all kinds of exercises to bring those fingers in, but you need to be able to stretch them out also. So when you sit and watch TV, get a heavy, heavy rubber band. You can find them in the produce section when you buy your broccoli. Exercise those muscles that spread those fingers. Also, you can use weights, but you don't have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. For gun spinning, it's these small muscles. You need, you need good shoulders to do the gun tricks. A little bit of pain is very distracting. And we'll get to a good shoulder exercise in a second. But first, it's the hands. Then for your grip, 
Just hold on to weights. Just hold them. Just hold these weights right here. Exercises those muscles in your hands. Letting weights dangle from your shoulder like this, holding them in your hand, is also good for your elbows. But here's the exercise that I used when I started gun spinning. And that was hanging from a bar. There's a lot of YouTube videos by supposed experts now that say hanging from a bar, just hanging with your arms straight up, is good for your shoulders. You can feel it tiring out the muscles in your grip, so it helps your grip. And this is how I started out gun spinning. I realized I couldn't practice for very long, so I started hanging from a bar at the gym, and it helped. You can feel it stretching the, uh, the joints of your elbows out. That can't be bad. And hanging from a bar reshapes the, uh, the bones in your, in your shoulders. And some of us need those bones reshaped. Some of us have been injured, grown spurs, things like that. You hang on the bar and just hang for several minutes a day and that will help. It will also help your grip. I gotta say this exercise is not fun. And I say hang for a couple minutes a day. Well, you may be only able to hang for 15 seconds at a time. I think I worked up to 45 seconds when I was doing it. Now, I was doing it for my shoulders and it helped. It helped my left shoulder. But this is also good for a grip, and this is how I started out was by hanging by a bar. But when you get yourself off the bar, you can feel that it has an effect on those elbows also. Excellent exercise. Now you don't have to be super strong to spin guns, but you do have to have enough strength in your hands to practice. If you're going to practice guns for half hour, that'll wear your hands out. When you're performing guns, you'll only go for three, three, maybe four minutes. So your hands don't have to last that long. But you'll find that if you're, uh, if you're spinning guns, your hands get tired, especially if you're practicing. And if you have a routine that wears you out, you should alternate between spinning and doing tosses. Tossing doesn't wear, at least doesn't wear my hands out. It's this constant, constant uh, pressure you put on your hands doing one motion. You know, your hands will wear out pretty quick doing one thing. But if you do a spin and then bring it down, do a reverse spin, practice some uh, shoulder rolls, practice some tosses, then your hands will revive and you can go back to spinning. So that's what I do when I'm practicing. I may practice for 45 minutes, but I only do a plain spin for a short time and then I, I practice something else that doesn't wear my hands out and that for me that means tosses and I do the same thing in my routine. I start out spinning and then start adding tosses and go back to spinning and add some more tosses so I don't wear myself out so I can make it to the end without dropping my guns because my hands are so tired. So there's some ways to stretch your hands out to make it more flexible and to increase the power in your fingers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun spinning your guns. And you might take a look at these other videos here as they're coming up. We'll see you next time.